Peggy 3. Hello and welcome back to the Play Like a Legend Championships presented by Xbox One. Today we're going to be previewing the live Season 2 Finals which take place this weekend. I've got pro FIFA player Dave Bythewey with me to talk about everything we think might happen. But first, let's talk about the Season 1 Finals which happened in April. Dave, absolute belter of a tournament. What were the main talking points for you? As you said, the tournament was absolutely brilliant. The first talking point has to be a huge gorilla. Despite being relatively inexperienced, he won the tournament and he scored a lot of goals along the way. He was very good. He was like the comeback kid as well because he'd go down and he'd just come back and he was incredible. And what I found quite interesting as well was obviously him not being super experienced was kind of a, an opposite to some of the really experienced guys we thought would do well and didn't necessarily turn up at their first Ultimate Team tournament. You know, Bruce Granick, I tipped him to win because he's done so much before. Didn't really have a good tournament, did he? Oh well, Ultimate Team is different to head-to-head -head, and a lot of people will think, right, I'm good on head-to-head, -head, but it's just not the same. And despite the experience being key, it just wasn't going in his favour in this tournament. And we've got obviously not just Spencer, but we had a lot of other new people playing their first tournaments. And how do you think they got on? Well, the, the, the key name for the new players was ESP Ash. He got to the semi-final and it was his first offline tournament. So that in itself was a massive achievement. And we saw a lot of action, didn't we? A lot of goals. I think one of the games had 14 goals scored in it, was it? Crazy amount of action. Yeah, the thing is with Ultimate Team, it's so fast-paced. It promotes a lot of attacking play, which is why we see a lot of goals in the games. We did see a lot of goals. And speaking of which, it's time to announce the winner of our Goal of the Season competition from Season 1. We shortlisted five of the best goals scored. Our panel of experts chose this this goal scored by a huge gorilla with Robin and the winner chosen at random who agreed with our panel is Paolo Russo from Italy. So well done to you, you win three legends including Roy Keane, so enjoy including them in your team. Okay Dave, so looking ahead to this weekend, what new names should we be keeping an eye on? The name that stands out to me is iGamer Sneakers. He's qualified as the best rated French player and he's the only one who really got near to a huge gorilla in the online qualifiers. Well, that would be great if we could see those two match up against each other in the tournament. I mean, what do you think would happen if that was the case? Well, going off the last tournament, you would have to go with a huge gorilla. But then again, looking at the formation that iGamer Sneakers has given us, he's using a 5-2-1-2, which is a slightly defensive formation. So it would be interesting to see if a huge gorilla could break that down. OK, well, that's one person to look out for. Who else have you got your eye on? Another one of the newcomers is XL Gigsy. He did really well in the online qualifiers. XL Gigsy, yeah, I've got his team here. Uh, he's got a silver player in defence. We've seen that done a little bit in the last tournament. Interesting to see how he does with him. Van Arnholt, he's gone for. On the bench, he's got some very fast, very uh, attacking players. Why aren't they starting? Well, as you said, there is a lot of pace there, and that says to me that he's going to bring them on at half-time and try and blitz the second half, take advantage of any tired legs there may be. OK, we'll definitely keep an eye on him. Who else? Epsilon Anthox is another new player. He's got a very familiar Premier League team, but looking at his squad, I'd like to be proved wrong, but I think he's really going to struggle. I see what you're saying. It's very, very popular choices in there. He's got, he's got the likes of Mangala, Anua, Walker at the back. I mean, still pacey and strong. A, a decent defence, maybe not the most expensive defence, but they definitely can do a job. And I think Diego Costa, you know, he's a really good striker in this game. It's still a good squad, isn't it? The squad is good, but compared to Season 1, some of the teams you saw there, this one would really struggle. We've got no big names in there, really. We've got no Ronaldo, we've got no Messi. He has got Robin, he has got a lot of pace, but as he's on the bench, he's going to be coming on at half-time to try and make a difference. But with that team, I think it might be already lost by then. OK, Dave, who else are you looking out for? Hope Toxide. He's another French player. He might be new to the tournament, but he's definitely not new to Ultimate Team. He's played over 650 games. That is a lot of games, isn't it? That is a lot of games. I mean, he's got some players that have played a lot of games as well. Carl Walker, uh, Jerome Boateng, both made 300 appearances for his club, so he's very experienced with them. Ronaldo, 200 games, 350 goals. That's a very good goals per game ratio. He's going to be dangerous. A couple of team of season uh, players as well, Matic and Balassi. It's a lovely looking squad, isn't it? Yeah, there's bags of pace and talent for that squad in pretty much every position. He's definitely going to be one to look out for. OK, well, we'll definitely keep an eye on those guys. We should also give a quick shout out to two people that have qualified from new regions uh, in this season final. We've got Berg7 from the Netherlands and Janaj Ted from Poland. So I'll be looking forward to seeing how they get on. Yeah, despite them being newcomers, that doesn't mean they're going to be at any sort of disadvantage. We've seen newcomers win in the past, so good luck to all of them.
Okay, so there's some of the new faces to look out for. What about some of the returning faces? We've got a huge gorilla. He won season one. Do you think he can repeat that feat and win season two? Well, he's definitely got to be a favourite coming into the tournament. Retaining the title is never easy, as we see in real life in the Champions League. I quite liked a Smiley Dragon. I mean, he was hitting some amazing long-range shots, very entertaining player. I know he was a semi-finalist. I'm sure he'll be looking to do one better, but I'm a big fan of his work. Yeah, he's definitely going to be hoping to go one better. Another two players who will be hoping to put their past performances behind them are Tass and Graham. A little rivalry sparked up between them both last time, but with thousands of pounds on the line, it's completely understandable. For sure, I mean, the tensions were running high. They always do, and I'm sure they will again this weekend. And the real question is, who can keep their head? Who can remain composed? Who will win? That's what I'm asking you right now, Dave. Who's your prediction? My tip is going to be Graham. He's been putting in a lot of time and effort, and we've already seen that he's improved his team, so he's definitely my choice still in the tournament. Okay, well, I'm going to go with the safe bet, I think. Huge Gorilla, this guy, every time I see him, you can never count him out. He goes down, he always comes back for one season one. I think he's going to retain it. Well, there you go. They are some of the new and returning faces taking part in this weekend's live season two Play Like a Legend Championships here at the Gfinity Arena in London. Dave, thank you very much for joining us as usual. My pleasure. And if you guys want to join us live, you can get yourself some tickets and you can register for the Season 3 online qualifiers at gfinity.net forward slash legends. And if you can't join us in person on the weekend, you can watch us on stream at twitch.tv forward slash gfinity.tv. We'll see you then. Bye for now.